Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of I Know Jax. You are actually watching episode number 136 and no, that's not a joke, it's true. Can you imagine for 136 Saturdays you've been sitting there on the sofa watching my ugly mug? Unbelievable! And for that you deserve more than a gold star or useless diploma to hang on your wall. You deserve a party! So that's what we're going to do. We're having a special I Know Jack's big birthday party combined with a little bit of a Christmas bash on December 11th. That's Thursday next week. I'm going to be talking more about that later on in the show. Now those of you who subscribe to the newsletter will get an invitation via email. The rest of you are going to have to go to the website for details. Now, it's been a great week for me, and I hope it was for you too. And I was so excited to see the Jaguars win. I've been telling you that they always have had it in them. <laughs> Things are going to turn around, and right now the team looks really good. Marcel had a chance to catch up with a few of the players this week. Well, December's here and it's time to fight the crowds, hurdle shopping carts, and swipe the mag strip off that credit card. That's right, you know what I'm talking about, Christmas shopping. So where do your favorite Jaguar players spend their holiday cash? You can get anything basically in the town center. I don't too much do too much shopping for myself, but my fiance, she loves uh, Sephora. So, you know, she get a lot of her stuff in there. So <laughs> I say that's one of the number one stores she stays in. Uh, well, usually if I'm, if I'm shopping, I'll probably be at the town center. Uh, just a lot of options, the Apple Store, Express, uh, Urban Outfitters, uh, you know, the new Nordstrom is over there, so I usually go to those places. Probably any shoe store, probably Foot Action, Foot Locker, Champs, uh, stuff like that. Just probably, you know, find stuff for my nieces and nephews and stuff like that, so i probably, you know, go there and get some shoes and stuff like that for them. The St. John's Town Center. Seems like it's become the place to go for all things Christmas, but it'll take more than long lines and traffic to keep the guys away, or will it? I mean, I like to indulge a little bit um, just to get that Christmas experience and, and get out and, and see different things I can get my family. So, you know, um, and a lot of things they have online. I don't like waiting for them. I just like to go get it so I can have it. And when my family visits, just give it to them. So uh, more just, you know, out in the public with the people. If I do go to town center, it'd be like, you know, uh, real early or real late or something like that when I think it's died down and stuff like that. I'm going to let those guys have the crowds and the chaos. Personally, I like to do all my shopping online and let my gifts come to me. It's just something about everything being just a click away. And I'm not the only one. To a certain extent, it's nice out there, but I don't really like to drive too much or, 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 you know, dealing with a lot of people at times. I don't really really get out to really try to find the deals so most of the stuff I do do online you know I pretty much know what my nieces and nephews want so it's easy for me to get them shoes and stuff like that and order online off the Nike site or so so I won't have to wait in line and deal with the holiday traffic out there. I'll probably be you know at, you know if, if if I'm at any mall if I'm not at any mall I'll probably be online. Okay that's it for this week's I Know Jags tune in next week to learn more about your favorite Jaguar players. What are you going to do when the Thunder beat the Cavs in the finals? They might get behind the eight ball. And then my Cavs, you know, we'll, we'll start off a little, we'll start off good, but, you know, not as good as we potentially can be. Get our chemistry down. We'll probably sweep you guys 4-0 four, four if you guys make it past the Spurs. I'm hoping Sunday's game turns out just as awesome for the Jaguars this week as it did for last week because maybe we can make it two in a row instead of just two. <laughs> this week our Christmas decorations are going up at home for sure. I promised my wife so I have to. When you don't have kids at home and you work a lot, things like that sort of end up on the back burner. Now it's usually the same with my Christmas shopping, but this year things are going to be different because I've already picked out some great local gifts for the people in my family. How about you? Next, I'm going to introduce you to another local Jacksonville business with a great program and who has some great holiday gift ideas too.
Here at I Know Jax, we don't just focus on fun, we also focus on being local. And since it's gift giving season, I've started a new series here on the show. Every week I present a new local business who has something that could be suitable as great gifts, Christmas gifts for those of you who are looking for cool, unique, and mainly local products. I'm with Scott from Twin Bridges and we're going to talk a little bit about what Twin Bridges Farm is. Twin Bridges is an herb farm primarily. Uh, we do uh, herb plants, fresh cut herbs for restaurants. We also do vegetable starts and we grow a good variety of uh, vegetables for uh, markets that we do. Well, I, I want to talk a little bit about the elephant in the room here, which is <laughs> all these great herb plants. Yeah. We were wanting to talk a little bit about shopping local and then what might be some good gifts. And when I talked to you about it, you said, I'm going to bring some plants. And I wish you guys could smell this because maybe we could get this in scratch vision or something. But <laughs> it smells incredible. Talk, talk to us a little bit about what you got here. Well, what's better than a living gift, right? Uh, absolutely. Give, uh, basil it gives plant. all year, right? That's right. You can get uh, pesto, you know, dishes off of it. A little Thai, there's some Thai basil you could do with Plant that it as close to the kitchen as you can get it. That's where you're mm -hmm. going to use it more. Yeah. And you've got, what do we have here? We have basil, you got rosemary. Yep. Rosemary down, down here. There. This is a lemon thyme that has a variegated leaf on it. it uh, he uh, used a big word, variegated. I don't know. Variegated what means. means it's a multicolored. It's got a little bit of white and green, uh, so it adds why didn't a little you just bit say of multicolored? color. multicolored. Well, variegated is what you're that's supposed to That's a fancy word. That's a that's uh, a five dollar word for a ten cent. Uh, okay, we'll say that. <laughs> and then you got spearmint up front. That gotcha. one's good for your mojitos. It really is good. For your mint juleps. And I got, I actually got one of these. I got a chocolate mint from you that yeah. I use in my mojitos nice. as nice. well. Yes, <laughs> Those chocolate are great. mint is good. That yeah. one's in the peppermint family. Okay. This one is the spearmint family. Okay, so that's a little stronger, would you say? Uh, actually, the spearmint is a little bit sweeter. What do we have here? This one is sage. Okay. Uh, really nice, earthy, strong, pungent herb that goes well with chicken and uh, uh, spaghetti sauces, things mm -hmm. like that. Stuffing for the holidays oh, yeah, is perfect. really good for the, over the holidays. For or you stuffing. can just rub it and smell it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it puts on a really nice pretty flower yeah. once a year. Uh, what you do is you take a, these nice big leaves like this, make a little slit in the skin on your chicken, slip them up underneath there right. in about five or six spots, roast it whole. Oh, awesome. It really does good that way. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also, one of our chef friends uh, taught us to uh, flash fry them and they come out like chips in just a matter of a, uh, two really? or three seconds. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Now, Use like a grapeseed oil so you can get it nice and hot. One of the things I like to do with uh, the rosemary is just cut off a couple sprigs, roll it up in a in a aluminum foil with some potatoes. Yes, love throw it, in the it oven with potatoes. Or on, on the grill, either way. Sprinkle them done. over the top of new potatoes. Awesome. Uh, basil, uh, really, it doesn't dry well. You just need to pick it. Um, it is an herb that you really want to pick regularly to keep it looking pretty like right. these guys. And you always go right for the top. One of the biggest things that people do is they say, oh, I just need one leaf. And right. what do you do? You go down and you pick, pick one leaf off the side. Yeah. Eh, bad. Bad. It, the plant hates that. It's going to go downhill From really there. quickly yeah. after that. So what you do is you go right to the top of the plant. And if you look at the underneath there, you can see there's a couple more tops. Oh, gotcha. They're coming as out. As long as you got a couple more tops coming out below the top, right. you just can pick that top. Take the whole thing? For every one top you pick, you get two, two. more. A twofer, I like that. Exactly. Well, I really appreciate you guys coming out and um, talking to us today. Nothing to it. We appreciate uh, you guys having this show that really highlights local businesses in Jacksonville. And, and you know, I, I watch it every week. And I, I hope so some sorry of my friends you. do too. <laughs> I think a couple of herb plants from Twin Bridges will make a great Christmas gift. It's a gift that keeps on giving all year. You can visit Twin Bridges at the Beaches Farmers Market in Jack's Beach on Saturdays from 2 to 5 p.m. And they're also at the market at Winston Family YMCA in Ponte Vedra on Wednesdays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Find out more about Twin Bridges online at TwinBridges.com. Next week, I'll introduce more local businesses with more cool products for you. Now, I also wanted to remind you about our giveaway. My friend Isaac Morales, retired from the Jacksonville Sharks, has opened a gym of his own, and this is what he's given away. Win a one-month membership, one nutritional counseling session, two personal training sessions, and one body control dry fit t-shirt. Go to iknowjacks.com forward slash giveaway to sign up now.
I'm downtown at the Seminole Club doing a little behind the scenes tour of Sweet Pete's and the Candy Apple Cafe before they open. Check it out. I'm with Allison from Sweet Pete's and you guys are getting ready for your grand opening. Yes, we're excited. Talk to me about what are the new changes? What do we got to look forward to? All kinds of new packaging, a dessert bar, a restaurant in the building, uh, enhanced classes, more field trips, just a bigger, better Sweet Pete's. Now, now when you say bigger, before it was? About 2,000 square feet. And now it is? 23,000 square feet. So it's a bit bigger. Lots bigger, <laughs> yes. And employee-wise, you guys have to have added. Yeah, we went from about five to 26. Holy crap. Yes, that's what we said. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, are, are there any new products to look forward to? What, what, what we yeah, yeah, we have great new packaging. Um, we've introduced a couple of new truffles. So lots of new fun stuff. I love the cubes. Those are cool. Yeah. That those was your are, idea, right? That was Marcus Lamonis' <laughs> idea. <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> I well, wouldn't dare take credit for no, it. No, exactly. So um, I was watching Pete pull Taffy upstairs. And it looks like he's going to be very tired at the end of the day with as many tours as you guys have coming through. Is it going to be, is that a standard thing for you guys? Yes, it is. We're going to have a lot. We actually now have three candy makers on staff that can make the hard pulled lollipops. So that'll give him a little, a little rest. Relief. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't need to go to the gym the way he's pulling that no, stuff. No, he's so buff. No. <laughs> I can't wait for the dessert bar to open. That's where I'm going to hang out. I'm with Liz and Ellen from uh, Candy Apple Cafe, trying to find out what is Candy Apple Cafe? What is it? Well, Candy Apple Cafe is kind of the brainchild of Liz and Jennifer okay. Ernest from Chef's Garden. Um, we're kind of partnering together with Sweet Pete's Candy okay. to create um, a restaurant cafe yeah. in this wonderful building. Well, and our signature is going to be a candy apple. That's okay. our signature dessert. We um, are going to be open from 10 to 8 every day. Um, we start with the brunch, which is served all day long, okay. and then lunch, and go into um, light fare for dinner and shared um, plates. Talk to me about some of the signature drinks. Then. Well, we're going to do a, a um, golden apple martini. We're going to do a gin-based, um, let me think of the name, factory water. Okay. Kind of play off the fact that it's a candy factory here gotcha. as well. Some of the other names, I think we have one called the Hogan's Hero. Okay. Which is cute, because here we are on Hogan, Hogan Street. Yeah, gotcha. Bourbon based. Mm -hmm. That one's a bourbon base. Uh, I think there's one called the Seminole Club. Okay. To kind of give homage to the building. I already love it. Food, cocktails, candy, sweet. Merry Christmas! <laughs> First Wednesday Art Walk in December. There was even a snow slide on Laura Street. This time there was also a rally in support of Mocha. I stand with Mocha. I stand. All the drama over these. Sweet Pete was a big draw, but I headed over to the Humble Pie for some awesome pizzas. See you at the next Art Walk on January 7th. I know Jack's big birthday bash. How about that for a name? <laughs> this year we're gonna have it at the Dim Sum Room. The Dim Sum Room is located next to Target near the Avenues Mall. Now I can't tell you exactly what we're gonna be doing because it's a secret, <laughs> but I can tell you this much. We'll have lots of great food and drinks, and you can find all the details out at iknowjacks.com. Remember, you have to buy tickets for this one, so do so online. You'll find the link at iknowjacks.com. 
You can see it all right there on the home page. The party is going down on Thursday, December 11th, so make sure to sign up now. from Glitter in My Grits. I wrote a nifty little sandwich roundup article on iknowjacks.com where I visited Claire's Tidbits, the French Pantry, and Ancient City Subs. And I got to taste some awesome sandwiches. You should go check it out. I'll be back with another episode next week and until then, I'll see you on the internet.